A big thanks to Brabura by Hearthstone Outdoor for sponsoring this episode. These are the secret ingredients for the perfect Waffle House style hash browns. Look at these beautiful gold and yellow potatoes. Rich, full of flavor and loads of starch. And loads of starch means loads of goodness. Comfort food. And the recipe that I'm gonna show you is very, very easy to make. And if you have beautiful potatoes like this, hard boiling potatoes, then there's very little work involved. And because they're so beautiful, there's no need to clean them up. I'm just gonna put them in my kitchen machine and shred them up. Now you're looking at the secret ingredient for the perfect hash browns, which of course are potatoes. But there are so many kind of potatoes. But if you take a look at these shredded potatoes, you can see that they have a nice yellow color. It means, again, flavor that comes from the color. And it's very important to use hard boiling potatoes. You want them to have a little bit of structure once you start cooking them. Now my potatoes were already cleaned up and keeping the skin on is going to add vitamins to your dish and add more potato flavor to it. I want these potatoes to be the perfect hash brown potatoes. And to make them crunchy, we need to get as much moisture out of these as we can. That's why I transferred it to a bowl with a towel inside of it. I'm gonna bring together the edges of the towel and then slowly start rotating it, squeezing the potatoes. This might be a little hard to do, but you really, really wanna squeeze it as hard as you can. Get all that moisture out. That's all moisture that doesn't have to leave the potato once you start cooking. Now let's take a look at this. Firmed up like a bowl and now it's become much drier looser in texture, absolutely perfect. With that out of the way, I'm gonna grab my Santoku knife and start slicing fine three onions and two bell peppers. I'm going to cut them up into thin strips. Of course, I'm gonna be needing some eggs. So I got a pair of fresh free range eggs. I'm gonna crack them open, put them in a bowl, whisk them up so they're ready for my hash browns. This is the Brabura, and you're either going to need a giant pan to make the mega hash browns, or you're going to need a flat top griddle just like this. I'm going to turn on two burners on one side, setting them to the highest position and one on a lower position. So I'm gonna have a hot zone over here and a low medium heat over here. It's going to take up to five to 10 minutes to warm up the cast iron plate that is coated with MI. Now the cast iron is gonna absorb loads and loads of energy. So if I put something on it, it has energy to give off instantly and give me a beautiful crust on anything that I'm cooking. And the MI layer that sits on the outside makes sure that it is very, very non-stick and very durable because it won't rust. And all good things start with, no, 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 no not bacon, butter. A little bit of butter goes a long way. I'm just gonna spread it out over the plate, making sure that everything has a little bit of grease. The next step is to fry up some bacon strips. I want them to crispen up and render out the fat. The fat I'm gonna use to cook the rest of it. It's basically gonna be the oil that I need to make good tasting hash browns. And that's why after butter, I start with bacon. Once you got them a little bit brown, not super crispy, but looking like this, then you're gonna lift them up and let the fat drizzle down back onto the plate. I wanna separate the two and I'm gonna move the bacon strips to the cooler side of the griddle. Now I have all this bacon fat. I'm gonna use it to warm up some ham cubes. The only thing that I need from this ham is to pick up a little bit of color. I want them to have the me artifact. It gives them that extra bit of flavor, but that's it. If they're warm, they got a nice brown color, just move them over to the side. Now I've got all that goodness from the bacon and the ham sitting here on my plancha. And it's gonna be the perfect seasoning for my onions and bell peppers. This is what I'm looking for. Soft onions with a little bit of char on them. And that means I've got the flavor profile that I was looking for. Time to set this on the side. I'm gonna clean up my plancha a little bit before I hit it with the pancakes. Now I'm gonna need a lot of butter. Time to put the potatoes on and spread them out. I want them squared up and as even as they can be. So you gotta work it a little bit, press it, even it out. It's gonna be one giant mega pancake. I'm gonna turn down both of the burners. So my hash brown gets the opportunity to slowly build up the crust and at the same time be fully cooked on the inside. Now of course, it's also gonna need a little bit of seasoning. This is Pit Master X Classic Barbecue Rub, of which you can find the recipe on our website, pitmasterx.com. But you can also use any type of barbecue rub that you like. Even chicken seasoning will do. 
Now I'm gonna add my beaten eggs. That's gonna bring the whole thing together. Busted? <laughs> That's the problem with doing things like this. Look, all that goodness just waiting there for me to eat it. I keep on snacking. Luckily I have plenty. In barbecue we call this pit master privilege. Laptop master privilege? I don't know. And of course, because I'm Dutch, I'm gonna need some cheese. This is Gouda cheese. Young Gouda cheese, as a matter of fact, you can't find any better cheese than Dutch cheese. Time to put on the onions and bell peppers. Spread them out evenly. Time for the ham to go on. And of course, the bacon. Now, before I flip this around, I wanna check on the bottom of these pancakes. I wanna see if the crust build up sufficiently so that we can flip it around. Now it's time for the first flip. Second flip. Whoa. <laughs> and now the third and final flip. Oh, look at this giant. <laughs> this is what I call mega hash browns. Waffle house style means we got all these little fritters, these little bits, not one of those chunky deep fried things. Real hash browns, real waffle style hash browns loaded with bacon, ham, onions, bell peppers, Pitmasters, classic barbecue rubs, and of course, the delicious golden Gouda cheese. Yeah, now the scary thing comes, we gotta lift it off and put it on a plate. Look at that. What a monster. Of course, there's a little piece that fell off, that's gonna be mine. You're going to eat the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah? Let's put some money down. Mmm. Oh, I'm talking about loaded. Woo! Look at that good at cheese. Stringy, cheesy. Mmm. Wow. I could eat this all day. I probably will be eating it all day. That's how much this is. This is like a four-person meal. Maybe, maybe even eight. It could be breakfast, it could be lunch. 